Hey there, it's Bitby. Welcome out to another Bitby stream. Thanks for coming out. It is Wednesday, and it's cold. Ugh, so much snow. Make it go away, please. I don't know. One of you, make it go away. Anyways, yes, it is Wednesday. I'm going to be playing a little bit of Jenkins Nightmare, which I haven't touched in a very long freaking time. Web. It's cold as hell here, too. Uh, someone save us. Warm the planet. Get your aerosol cans. No, I'm joking. Please don't do that. Okay, now... God, I don't even remember what we were doing last time. Um, we were trying to figure out why it is that, like, these strange occurrences are happening all over the island. And it has something to do with Jenka having nightmares. I don't know. Something about that. I'm not sure. Oh, thanks for the cheer, uh, Owl. And also, thanks, Splat. Splat, uh, cheered a little bit earlier. Also, those are Corkies. Corky! Any hoop you do. Uh, I suppose before we begin here, I want to, uh, make, like, the formal announcement on stream that we actually have our first, uh, emote. So, if you subscribe to me for some strange reason, you actually do have access to a perk. And it is the, uh, the smug emote. So... There we go. <clears throat> Crap, loads of smug in the chat. <laughs> Incredible. It's adorable. No, like, the, the first emote that I attempted to try and, um, get through to the Twitch was just, like, the logo, the Bippy logo, but it's a little bit too close to just a single letter for them to be, lay to, to allow it. Apparently that is against the rules when it comes to emotes. Okay, I, I guess not, I suppose. And that makes me sad, because I'm just like, oh, that would have been really cool to have. Eyes emoji. <laughs> we don't have an eyes emoji. Though, like, I could potentially make a couple of different emotes for uh, certain, like, things in the in the event we want them. So, let us go ahead and begin the stuff, shall we? Go over to the game. Here we are. There we go. Okay, should be working. Yes. Seems to be working just fine. Ah, oh, Weppy has cheered 10 bits. Thank you very much. <laughs> get down with the shit. Your mother, get up! Okay, we were in Sand Zone. I believe we got, like, ama amazingly stuck the last time. Um... So, what ended up happening while we were in that, uh, in that house? I'm trying to recall. Okay, we got stupidly stuck. Let me just open up the door real quick. I was looking for misery. Ah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. I think one of these bookshelves might be able to help me. Sketchbook full of scribbles and conceptual notes. The centerpiece is a sketch of the island. Matter and space. Corresponding network. Does this thing work? A teleporter. Looks functional, but there is no power. Well, on closer inspection, it looks like the key card might have housed it been carefully removed. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Now, Silver, it, it is running perfectly fine, unless you can't see the stream, which is very strange. So, hello. I hope you're doing a good, uh, I hope you're having a good day. Large chalkboard covered with teleporter diagrams. If teleporter A points to teleporter B and teleporter B points to teleporter C, then teleporter C would point to teleporter A. However, if teleporter A and teleporter B point to one another instead, teleporter C will be forced to point to a different location. Um, didn't we figure that out the last time that we were here? God, my head hurts. The journal is in my inventory, if you remember right. It updates every time I do something of importance. Oh, really? Uh, let me see here. Found Booster's workshop, but he doesn't seem to be here. Two teleporters will change the third. And so did we do the teleporter? I feel like we absolutely did do the teleporter thing. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. God, my head. Misery is a character name, but also you'd look for Misery the adjective just as much. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, we were discussing the fact that if you t uh, point the teleporters at uh, specific locations, they do a thing. Oh, that's right. I only have this weapon at, you know, at my disposal at the moment. Great. That helps me. Ow. Thanks for the refreshers. I, I I appreciate it a lot. Cool. Am I gonna die before we get anywhere in this game? Holy crap! All 
All right, is that the only one in here? Is there another one on this side? Yes, there is. Asshole. One to send you to Booster, and the other sends you to Misery, you think. <sighs> Interesting, okay. Oh, right, I just remembered. I got this guy. I understand. I remember now. Oh, God. I'm, I'm running. I'm out. See ya. Okay, do we want to use the teleporter? Yeah, sure. This fresh hell location. So it said if teleporter A and teleporter B, uh, teleport to teleport. Uh, my brain is already entirely melted by that, uh, that whole bit of sentence. The destination is booster. Okay, so wait, where do the other ones go then in that case? My guess is that they're probably configured properly and I just need to find the other teleporters because they might be pointing in the right direction. I hate math. <laughs> Same here. I don't think this is math, though. I think this is, like, purely my own incompetence. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, we're back to the teleporters again. I thought we left this behind last stream. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard. Because, again, in theory, I should be able to traverse this entire area now that I have this backpack. Like, I don't have to worry about having to be stuck in any capacity. So that should help me out a little bit. Oh, okay, apparently Silver did have some kind of a problem on their end, so... Hi! Good to see you. App. Professor Render says, I like math because I have... Wait. I have to do it for my major. Boy, I hope you like math if that's the case. Holy crap. I've never been good with math. I am complete garbo with math. Like, it takes me a while just to... I think it's because I just don't trust my own brain. Chest refuse. Oh, right, this guy. Engraving on the lid, and it's the machine gun. I want to get to that machine gun. I remember that, dude. Fluffy says, I like math too. It helps with my accounts course for college. I, again, that's good. And I know math is important. Oh, but God help me, my brain will not be able to, like, filter math. Even multiplication of all things. It, got, it doesn't help that I did not pay much of any attention in school. That doesn't help things either. Oh, you want to hear a fun little story about bit? Uh, when I was younger, I was on this fun little medication, and one of the side effects was uh, sleepiness. And the thing is, it took them forever to finally diagnose that. So a bunch of my teachers were just very, very confused about why it is that I was coming to school so sleepy so often. Well, we figured it out eventually. A little bit too late. You know, it's not like I was some sort of a lazy kid or anything. No, no, no. I literally was too sleepy to be awake. Despite having eight hours of sleep every night. We, the Cthulhu, are beholders of the world-shaping events. Twice now, this island has been doomed to fall. Heck of an eventful little hunk of rock in the sky, isn't it? <laughs> Weppy says, I do not have the brain capacity to learn math. Like, what are vertexes and parabolas? I'm so confused. What really makes me sad is that if you... Like, I, I would really love to make a video game someday. But the problem is, if you want to make a video game, it's gonna ow, it's gonna require that you know a little bit of math for the sake of coding, and that sucks. What is a two? <laughs> it's this many. I know you can't see the camera, but I'm pulling up two. All right. Oh damn. How did damn? How's it going? Hey, just dropping in. So am I. I'm dropping like a stone in here. Oh, Fl uh, Flavi says in the UK we say maths with an S at the end. I know it's an adorable. It depends. Like there are some people that say math, and then there's some people that say maths. And then of course, if you are er, big Shack, then you say quick maths.
Why are there more than one math? <laughs> Jaluxia has given, uh, donated a whole bunch more corgis. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Quick math. Hello, dude run. How are you doing? If you're in your game, you say quick maps. Yeah, I think skipping the um, these guys are going to be so much easier for me. Like, seriously, I I'm fine with just traversing. Teleportation makes my brain hurt. That said, um, look at my health bar. God, I'm awful. Oh, hey, look what I found. <laughs> Convenient. Thank you. Heal, please. I'll save here, because why not? Mentally fried. Finished homework. Four! <laughs> I have a brother who is currently doing some uh, some tests before Christmas, and... Oh, boy. He, he's just grinding to try and get it all done. Like, he's got an assignment that was supposed to be done a little bit earlier, but um, he's giving a little, he's given a little bit of grace period. And hallelujah for that, I suppose. Where's Captain Chicken when you need him? <laughs> and, the, and then there's Al in the chat, just like, wait, what? It's a Dead Cells reference, don't worry about it. Ah, screw it. Oh, you didn't do here. Uh, I'll get back into the swing of things at some point. There we go. I'm, I'm already kind of getting back into the swing of things. Uh, I see this gap sitting over here. Oh, what did you do? I did it. Okay, never mind. I don't think there's anything I can do up there. Son of a... Uh, yeah. What's the... What's the deal? Maybe I need to go through that teleporter. He's dead, Web. I killed him. What are you? The destination is Mimiga. Uh, I believe that is not what I want to go to. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go to Mimiga and see what happens. Oh, hi, dog. Gaudi eat the Mimiga. Mimiga eat flowers. Oh, but if the flowers are red, the Gaudi and Mimiga would eat each other. <laughs> How pleasant. Tema sent 10 bug coins. Thank you. There's another game that I really need to get back to. I believe I've already been in here. Hold up. Yep. Clearly already been in here. How you doing, buddy? Sorry I can't help you out without... Okay, right, right, right. Mr. Booster's explanation made my head hurt. The diagram. Still in his workshop. Got it. And again, according to his diagram on his workshop... There's something else to these teleporters that is sort of killing me. I think I need to do another game of Switcheroo, but this time do a little traversing. BitB is officially upset. This is not a puzzle game I wish to play today. <laughs> it's fine. There's no way they could possibly pull this sort of puzzle nonsense again, like a second time in this, uh, this mod, right? You'd like to hope not. There's so much bug coin in the chat. Hello. So much bug. Insect currency. <laughs> oh, dear. I want a weapon that's spammable. I just, I feel completely naked without anything that's spammable. I like spam in this game. Funny enough, I don't know if I actually like the actual spam. At least they don't do it a third time. <laughs> uh, I believe this is where I was. Actually, funny enough, is there anything I can do in the um, eroding val uh, valve now? I don't even know. Oh, Al has donated 10 bits and says, Insect currency! Oh yeah, I can get up here now. What are you? The bubbler! Neat. I was missing that. Can I? No, I can't break these. Son of... I could have easily avoided that. Jesus. And yet I didn't. How bad do I feel? Very bad. 
the bub boy has arrived. Now I need to charge it up. Although I haven't really, I'm not really into using the bubbler all that much. It always just felt like a very finicky weapon. Like one of those things that, uh, I mean, like it literally is a defensive sort of weapon. Level that up to three and you get the spamming weapon that I asked for. Eh. I guess, technically. Wait, where? Hold on a moment. Give me a second. Where are you guys going? What? There's some kind of a cavern. Hold up. Maybe there's something to this. Oh, dear. Yeah. What are you? Uh... Okay. Point. <laughs> Is there a hidden area in there that I just don't know about? I'm so confused. <sighs> right. Anyway. Again, I believe that there is some kind of an extra puzzle involved with this teleporter nonsense. I'm, I'm gonna say it's creative, but at the exact same time... Holy freaking funny stuff has donated 100 bits and says... Entomology doubloons! <laughs> Alright, me matey, are we here to get ourselves the, du the gold doubloons? You say doubloons, and the first thing I think is look at the doubloons from Banjo Tooie. By the way, I just recently heard about this. Um, I guess there is a 42 track vinyl set that has recently been announced at Fangamer. It it's like, oh, I forget, something like 30, 40 bucks? And it it's like a Banjo Kazooie vinyl soundtrack. And the tracks were specifically picked out by Grant Kirkhope himself. My God! I can't excuse that purchase! I would love to be able to, but I just can't. I'm kind of... A, there's, there's a part of me that's hoping, sort of, that maybe somebody I know will get it for me for Christmas, maybe. Anyway, what's this thing say? God, all right, Gaudy. Let's go back to Gaudy. Let's see what's happening there. Grant is so hyped about it. Oh, I follow Grant on Twitter, and who? A lot of the things that he um, he posts about just anything Banjo Kazooie related, I, I pay attention to. For example, many times he's posted stuff about. Um... Ow. <laughs> uh, what's that one store? Ur Ursa Major, that one. He's posted about that several times, and every single time he's posted about that, I have to go and buy one of their trinkets. It's always like, oh, look at this little golden trinket they're selling that's clearly not a jiggy. Go buy it! Right. The man is a legend. Agreed. I still haven't played Mario Rabbids, and there's a part of me that kind of wants to go and play that simply for the soundtrack. But then, and then I'm like, well, I could just buy the soundtrack. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a strategy game, but um, not hugely into the idea of playing it. I'm used to Mario games that are all about the platforms. Oh, Silver says, who? Uh, sorry, I got cut off. Uh, Grant Kirkhope. He's the dude that did the soundtrack for the Banjo-Kazooie series. And if you want to hear more of his latest work, it's in Mario Rabbids. Mar Rabbit's Mario is XCOM, but kids. Yeah, pretty much. You hit the nail on the head. Grand Krant Kirkant. Funny stuff. Why Why must you butcher the English language? If you want to hear something even fresher, um, in Smash, he actually composed one of like the main songs for that. Gurkhope Cran. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so happy, like, the Spiral Mountain track was something that he did. And you could just hear his freaking sound font. Like, I don't know. It's weird to even say that, like, the those words, like, sound font. But there really is sort of a sound font to Grant Kirkhope's work. And you can hear it when you listen to that. That was basically my Chewy We're Home situation. <laughs> where I'm just like, yes! We're back! 
Cranberry Kirkhope. <laughs> you know what's the one thing I haven't taken a full listening to that I probably should? Uh, the Nog song. And if you haven't heard it, it's a it's a song that Grant Kirkhope literally made that's entirely about eggnog. And that's it. Okay, let me read this really quick, and I want you guys to try and take, like, careful note of this. If teleporter A points to teleporter, teleporter B, uh, and teleporter B points to teleporter C, then teleporter C would point to teleporter A. However, if teleporter A and teleporter B point to one another instead, teleporter C will be forced to point to a different location. Okay, but isn't that literally the puzzle that we just solved? It, it certainly sounds like... It sounds like an exact, the exact same puzzle. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I don't have to do anything more and I just... You know, the, the whole point of me doing this was just to get the booster pack. Because I literally did this the last time that we were doing this, right? Dude Run says, so point two teleporters at each other and then take the third one. There's one other combination. Oh my freaking god. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Fair enough. Let me try this. Die, burb. Excuse me. I probably. Oh, I should have. Good thing I saved just then. Holy shit. <laughs> What's currently pointing at each other? Hmm. Oh, right. Rest. Sleep, please. F's in chat. That's why I need to get a, a few more, like, bit emotes, because I currently have bit smug. Now I need stuff like, I don't know, I need bit cry in here, bit shock. What other emotes could I possibly have? Oh. Have to just, like, become emotes. Rip an alligator. Yes, that alligator definitely ripped me. Screw it! Attack burp! <laughs> God, I suck. Bug coin? Bits of bug coin. Ooh, I can make like a, a blue rendition of that bug coin. Oh, I did, 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 hold on. I just heard something. Hold on. I thought I heard like the, the little ping sound effect of hitting something. Like hitting something, um, invisible? That was weird. What would... God, I wish I had it. Like, you know, my main problem is that with the fireball, it's got that whole arc. Not used to that arc. I, I suppose I just have to suck it up and deal with it. Okay, so this would be teleporter C in this case. All right. A am I correct in assuming that? Because this is teleporter A. So the the other ones are teleporter A and B in some capacity. Okay. Dude Run says this would be teleporter C. Gotcha. Uh I don't really Okay, so all right. That means that I would need to make teleporter C point to another one of these teleporters, correct? So what is teleporter C? That is booster. I should probably write this stuff down. Holy shit. Give me a second. Um, da, 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 da. I'm bringing up notepad just so I can make this a little bit easier on me. So C is booster. Got it. The sign next to the tele... Oh, wait, it's next to the teleporter name. Hold on, hold on. Flower. Okay. Flower. This is flower. So this is teleporter C. Mm -hmm. 
meaning Mimiga and Gaudi are pointing at each other. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, but which one is teleporter A and which one is teleporter B in that scenario? Uh, try pointing Mimiga at Flower. Very well. Uh, I just like to travel up to that location then. You know, at least, at the very least, I am a huge. Oh, shit! <clears throat> That's fine. I like the regular booster. I want the regular booster. Be thankful I'm not doing, like, the hell run of this game. Because <laughs> then we would need a death counter. Think of each teleporter as points of a triangle. Remove one point and you just have a line. Okay, all right. Hmm. What am I doing? Come on, come on. You take the dot in this case. <laughs> Do we need to visual aid? <laughs> Maybe I think there is some sort of an app in um, in Streamlabs so that you can do drawings. So yeah, maybe I need to do some color commentary. It's like, okay, see here, Bob. We're going to left, right. We're gonna make this exit over here with this teleporter, and then we're gonna go this direction. Okay, right. This is a dead end. So keep that in mind. First of all, I want to kill this guy for his nutrients. Good man here. Boom! Come back to them. Oh, what? Shit! Shit! Oh, for God's sake! Again, I don't like how floaty this version of the booster pack is. Hey you! Hey you! <laughs> God! All right! All right! All right! All right! Ah, uh, that's blocked off. Good. Good. Oh no, here comes a Chinese earthquake. That's so offensive as shit. I'm just... Sorry, the meme has poisoned me. There, I just want to take care of variables. Give me a moment. That video still cares, kills you after, like, seven years. Same. It was made in the days of YouTube poop. Very true! No one gave a single chicken fried fuck about being, um, about being clean back then. Bow piss. Come on up, buddy. Ow, I bad you hate! I hate! I almost died! Okay, screw it. I think there's some sort of a rest point coming up, so... The whole community was only slightly cleaner than 4chan. Correct. There are so many news outlets that... They talk nowadays about how, oh, YouTube, it's, it's filled with such filth. You know, how could they let children watch this? And it's just like, where have you been? Like, holy shit! Okay. Uh, again, are we nearby a health place? Because, God, I would love... All right, this is Gaudi. Uh, let me just label Gaudi here. Just so we know. And it's currently pointing at... Mimiga. How could parents let their kids watch that stuff? I know, right? It's almost like they're not watching their kids at all. I still remember, um, oh, what was that one 4chan scandal? Or, you know, scandal, I should say. It didn't, it wasn't that huge. Wasn't it Jessica Slaughter or whatever the heck? Jesse Slaughter? Who is this 4chan? 
I don't know. I point to that situation so many times and I go, it ain't, you know, it ain't the company's fault, all right? You decided to let your kid just jump into the internet head first. And that is a very deep reflecting pool. Holy shit. Actually, it's not a reflecting pool. Otherwise, we would actually see reflections of ourselves, and we don't. What's a fork, Shan? Anyway, um... Arf, arf. Would you like to feed the puppy? Let's let's try. <laughs> I just imagine the number four wearing a uniform. <laughs> Daisu! Okay. So this is now pointing to flower. Uh, does this mean that that other teleporter down there is now pointing to a different location that I would be interested in taking a look at? Or am I missing the whole point? Has the plot been lost on me? Flower and Mimiga need to point at each other. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. This is Flower. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. So if my assumption is correct, I now need to go change the other teleporter so that it is now pointing in the opposite direction of where it's currently looking. And not horribly die in the process of getting back there. <laughs> but, you know, that's easier said than done. Okay, okay. I need to think a little bit more three-dimensionally, considering, you know, I just got this brand new booster pack. That's probably a big part of the puzzle now, you know? I think... Oh, that's an emote we need. Bit think. Yeah, buddy. Well, first of all, let me take a look at this. The destination is Mimiga. No. I will feed the puppy. Okay. So this is flower. The, de the destination is gaudy. Okay. Interesting. So... <laughs> Dude runs us in the words of Star Fox 64. Good luck. I don't have a really good uh, effect for that one. I have some, like... Uh, let me try this. Give me a moment. Good luck. Oh, it's not bad, actually. I think that works. Not really, not perfect, but uh, it'll do. Also, this thing changed shape dramatically. Holy crap. Stop it. Don't take that out of context. Flower to Mimiga, Mimiga flower, gotta get get up. Uh, wait, this leads to nowhere. Never mind. Change Mimiga to flower and take a. <laughs> I will take that out of context. You can't stop me. Do a barrel roll. Use the boost to get through. Welcome to BitBeast Streams. And then funny stuff is posted to YouTube. Blink. God help me, what is it? Teleporter going up! That basically sums up this entire stream, yes. It's fine. We solved a gigantic portion of this question the last time that we were, you know, doing this stream, so... That's fine. Okay. So, we're here at Gaudi. The destination is Flower. Um, I would like to change the direction of the teleporter, sir, because Flower should not be pointing in this direction, correct? Let me feed Pup. Okay, you say Arf Arf. The destination is now Mimiga. The, ugh. Am I doing something wrong here? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Hope you weren't teleporting bread. 
I teleported bread. I sent flour to Gaudi earlier. Ugh, uh, God. I'm sorry, my head is not built for this 4D chess level nonsense. I'm sorry, I work way better mechan- like, uh, You know, I don't even know if that's true. I don't know if I work mechanically well. Maybe I'm just inept to shit. Flower. Okay. This teleporter doesn't respond. The puppy wags his tail. Okay, the destination is now bo- Alright, so we're back to having- Okay, we've- we've leveled it out to booster now. We've leveled it out to booster. Now where do we go? We're- we're back to like, base standard. So now at this point, what would we do? Flower to Mimiga, Mimiga to Flower. Okay, okay. All right. So this is Flower. This goes to Booster. Meaning, meaning, wait a minute. So meaning. Uh, this way. Alright, this, this is Gaudi. I need to take this teleporter, right? I need to head to Mimiga, and then I need to change this one over to something else. Am I right about that? Okay, hold on. Alright, this is now Mimiga. This teleports to Gaudi. Do not do this. Arf. Feed. The destination is now Flower. Okay, and okay, Mimiga is pointing to Flower, and Flower should be pointing to Mimiga in, in theory. Maybe. Now to Flower and set it to Mimiga. Okay, and then this is Flower. This is set to Gaudi. We do not want it to be pointing to Gaudi. We want to feed the pup. All right, all right, all right. Flower. The destination is Mimiga. I do not want to jump into the teleporter. Okay. Now it's time to go to Gaudi. Slowly, I'm beginning to unravel this horrible web. <laughs> Sarah says, I have no idea what's going on. Same. Welcome to the club. We have we have a shitload of cinnamon Coca-Cola in the corner to drink. Ah, okay. So this is Gaudi. The teleporter doesn't respond, but with a little feeding of the pup. The destination is misery! Oh. That uh, no, this is definitely misery. Uh no, actually I don't want to go through, because real quick. Where is the nearest health station that I could go to? Because I've got seven health, and I'm on the verge of death. I believe there was one over here, if my memory serves me correctly. Everything is set correctly. Like, I, I would like to... Okay. Okay! Funny stuff has donated one bit and says, Misery, I thought we were already there. Bingo bango. Okay, well, I'm level one on this gun right now. Should I attempt to try and grind it up? I don't know what's on the other end of that. Like, I don't know if it's a boss fight with Misery. I don't know if it's just Misery in general. I'm scared. Suffering at its best. 
It's worth it. Thank you. Fireballs! Oh, God. I I've learned that when it comes to this game, it is good to be prepared. Be a good little Boy Scout and make sure that things are leveled up. Um, here, I'm going to take the high ground for this, dude. Okay, I got his little bird friend. Woo! Come on. <sighs> Jesus. Nothing below me but boiling lava. <laughs> Wow, I massively missed him. Oh, oh god, why? Sorry. My brain decided to just have a little bit of a conniption for a second. There we go. Him and Bird Brain are destroyed. There we go. Easy work, easy work. How long have we been streaming so far? <laughs> 42 minutes. 42 minutes it took to... Well, okay. I didn't really come up with the solution for that one. I was literally told... I, I was literally told the solution to it, and it took forever for my brain to finally register it. I don't know if I should take that victory or not. I think it's a victory for all of us that we're through it. So there's a positive. Also, like I said, this guy. The chest refuses to open. I want that machine gun. I want it so bad. It's the little victories that matter. Like getting up in the morning and remembering that you're not supposed to put toothpaste on your feet. Unless, unless your feet are toothbrushes. Mmm. You got a point there. In fact, I think I just came up with a solution to make my morning routine that much faster. Okay, nothing over here. Use toothpaste as sunblock. You'll be protected from the sun and plaque. Oh, God. You know what's been bothering me for a while? I have this collection of plaque directly on, like, my left calf. It's been bugging the crap out of me, and I have been wanting to find a solution, and I think you might have just solved it, so thank you very much, funny stuff. And you'll smell minty fresh. Yeah, who needs deodorant when you have toothpaste? Anywho. Uh, I think at this point I'm actually going to go over here and... What's down here? Question. Oh, just more of like... This. <laughs> You're all cursed. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's all part of a joke. It's not like any of us are going to go home and... You know, do this for real. Not that I'm not home, I should say. Like, why did I say it that way? I'm literally sitting at my computer desk. How is this not my house? Still cursed. Eh, yeah, fair enough. You can believe it's cursed if you want to. Oh, Floof has entered Fluffy the Squirrel's room. That's adorable. Are they a nice floof, or are they biting you? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just sitting here. 
Wouldn't it be amazing if it turned out that, like, the all of these streams, I just do them half in the bag, every single one of them? And nobody knows. Turns out I'm, like, a raging alcoholic, and it took, like, several years to finally figure it out. He's a very wet floof. Wait, 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 how, how is the floof wet? That, that, that does not compute in my brain. Did the floof just recently take a bath? Ow! Outside in the rain. Oh, point. Oh, yeah, outside in the snow, now that I think about it. Probably roll around in snow. Sprinklers. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know, I'm not looking for... Because, again, I've been dealing with all of this snow stuff as of late, and it's not fun. You kind of have to. You know, that's the tax for living in the Midwest and whatnot. Uh... And I guess I'm fine with paying that tax for the most part, but... He's a cat. Well, now I'm triple confused. Fluffy Stuff has just posted what looks to be Cthulhu. I think we might have our answer. Cthulhu. Yep. I think I'm pretty much good to go at this stage. I guess I could up. The, you know, I could do the bubbler too. I don't know if I'm really going to be using the bubbler all that much, honestly. I'm probably going to alternate between this and the rocket launcher if need be. Ah, the memories about you remains. Wait, is that you did good stuff? <laughs> is this in reference to the whole drunkard thing? Bitby has strunk. Anyway, the the, des the destination is misery, so let's do this. Okay. Stretching. Getting prepared. Preparing myself for a surprise attack from something. Oh, yeah, we're up here now. Sup. Yeah. Actually, I think this um, this metal thing is a barrier. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, dumbass. Hold on. You guys are saying something in the chat. What are you? Crimson chunk. What? God damn. What? Funny Stuff says I'm an eldritch abomination with many names. My title is a liquid that morphs. <laughs> Good answer. Okay. What's the most positive way I could get through here without horribly disfiguring myself? This is a pretty good way. I did it. Did, did. Provided that I actually land my shots! Damn! Just like, evacuate! Oh god. This is a mess. Okay, can I manage to kill you real quick? Because I think that would help me a little bit. There we go, good. Grab you. Yeah, screw this, I'm going him. Trying to kill this asshole. But I can't. Whatever. Oh, hi. Hey, more sustenance. Thank you very much. Alright, do we have a convenient sa Oh, yes, we do. I was just gonna say, do we have a very convenient save point just sitting up here? 
That way we don't have to deal with this. I believe this is the cavern where the red flower originally was. Maybe. Or not. This doesn't look like the red flower area. Oh. A nice table for just sitting around and moping. Stop right there. Oh, misery. Hey. How dare you barge into my home? Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. Help me. Hmm. Wait, what do you want? Why did you return to this island with that stupid bloodhound anyway? What bloodhound? Jenka. Oh, so that's how it is. Sure, she asked for you, but if I so much as step one foot inside her barrier, oh, stop being petty and help me. I get turned into that. That thing. No, of course she would ask you, the hero, and not her own daughter. That's all she thinks of me. Maybe if I leave her with no other choice? Yep. Wait. Did your time served under the crown teach you nothing, girl? What? Booster! Oh, thank God. Hey, how you doing, dude? What do you want? Taking your anger out on him isn't going to do anything to help Jenga. You... I know it's frustrating, but... no oh, hush. I know you're older than me, but honestly, you're acting like a child. If Jenga asked him for help, she thinks he can. And if she thinks he can, in his, her current state, it will become reality. I know. It's just she's my mother. And I can't do anything! I'm sorry. Oh boy. I, I was just about ready to, like, gear myself up for the ultimate battle here. Ultimately, no harm done. Although, I'm glad I came in when I did. As for you, your presence here gives me some idea of what Jenka's thinking. We should fill you in on what we've discovered so far first. Yeah, please, help me. Misery, you're probably a better source than myself. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I couldn't tell you all the details, but there are two forces at work here. Both of them created by my mother, recently. One of them, who we've called Oblivion, destroys matter. The other, Genesis, seems to create from what is destroyed by Oblivion. Together, they have been destabilizing the island. If we could in some way extinguish them both, it might break the barrier. But if she's actively dis uh, directing them, she might simply recreate them. Didn't you once say you could sense she was unconscious, Misery? Don't underestimate what a witch can control, even unconsciously. Still. Hmm. The more I think about the situation, the more I feel like there's a third party at play. <laughs> like anyone could... No, hear me out. <laughs> it's just like, I have a crackpot theory and I am going to say every single bit of it. <laughs> See, I need a drink of water. The Bibble. The Bibble Bobble. Genesis, Denesis, what Nintendesis. Why would Jenka, of all people, ever actively tear the island apart? Furthermore, do we destroy Genesis and Oblivion to wake her? Or do we wake her to destroy Genesis and Oblivion? Hmm. There's a tongue twister. Sounds a hell of a lot like the, like, you know, the, the shitty teleport puzzle that you had. Convoluted and so hard to discern what I'm supposed to do. It's hard to say. Still, not even her brother could do something like this. Or at least not. Huh. I don't know. Is Balos somehow still alive? Misery. Do you think it's possible she's mourning Balos' death? That's perhaps, uh, wait. That perhaps, that's what has driven her to create these nightmares? That's... Possible. If her nightmares are driving her to eliminate his memory so thoroughly. Well, I suppose we know other choice than to do what we can. Um. Hmm. We never did ask his name last time, did we? Ta <laughs> uh, I suppose not. Who cares? <laughs> Care to enlighten us, surface robot? Um, uh, hello. My name is Bitby. I, uh, I was born in the sun. And I have 12 different toes on my ass. Quote, is it? Anyway, quote. 
I know we've probably done nothing but confuse you further in this matter, but we don't have much of a choice, once again. We need you to seek out both Genesis and Oblivion, and do what you do best. If my analysis are correct, both entities have built a lair for themselves. Evidently, they seem to connect directly to a chimney and conduit on either side of the Mimiga village. I do wish the teleport network hadn't taken so much damage. It would make this task much easier. But I'm sure you can handle it. Can you upgrade my booster pack? You don't happen to have the tools on hand to do that, do you? <laughs> Toes on his ass Wednesday. <laughs> he seems weaker than the last time I fought him. I've been lazy! Shut the fuck... Hmm. Oh, I know. I could turn him into... <laughs> I could turn him into a blender, and then we could blend the two entities together. No, I, no, that won't be necessary, Misery. <laughs> ah, well. It's hard transmogrifying machines, anyway. They never last long. Well, I do suppose he is a bit undergeared. I see you already have one of my boosters. I happen to need an energy cell from the labyrinth to finish it. And evidently, the labyrinth is probably your only way back. Misery. Yes, yes, you need to set the gaudy and flower teleporters to each other. Not again! Then take Mimiga. I will clear the sunstones from your path. <laughs> Dude, run in the chat. Oh, right. Shut up. You knew about this. There, it's done. Shut it. Dog! Puppy sleeps peacefully. Oh, good. Hope those bullets didn't uh, scare you in any way. Even after you defeated Balos and freed me from the crown, Jenka would not see me. I hope that in time. <sighs> but now things have changed. It shouldn't have attacked you. My mother taught me once how to make her life pot, but I don't have all the ingredients I need. If you happen to come across any of them... Uh, just a moment. Here. I've written down what I need. Oh, nice! You can make the, li the life pot that could potentially save this run. Oh, what? One more thing! No, Uncle. I received contract from Sue before I came over. Sue, how's she doing? That girl? Seems she woke up on the island from a nightmare herself. No trace of Sakamoto or Ito. Why would my mother... Anyway, she's been working on getting the teleporters running. Such a clever girl. It must run in her family. She'll need this. Get it to her safely, all right? Thank you. Do you have anything else to say? I'll be back in my lab if you need me. The sooner you get to the energy cell, the better. Try to find Chaba. He should have what in storage for me. Very well. Okay, so just so we don't have to deal with that entire cutscene again, let me go ahead and, um... Save. Ooh, Maple Leaf has posted a thing here. Aw, oh, that's adorable. So colorful. Oh, geez, funny stuff. BitBee expanded universe. <laughs> Got... I should just say a whole bunch of things that are entirely incorrect about me, and that way the expanded universe has no sense. Like, what? one day I should just say it's a bunch of fingers on my ass, and they have toes on the top of them. Uh, Krovlinov says, Anyway, I've completed the Maggot Boy achievement and ascended after months of attempts. May you please applaud me for this. Um, applaud? Does this have to do with Hollow Knight? Because that sounds a heck of a lot like a Hollow Knight thing. There ain't no context. Splat says, Does this make sense without words? <laughs> Flower! Gaudy! Mimiga! Okay. I'm just gonna remember that I need, like, my main objective is to go to Mimiga. And really, I think that's going to help me a little bit. Now, let's somehow get the hell out of here. It was much easier getting through here before. Holy crap. Also, on top of this, I've done this puzzle twice now. So, you'd like to think after the second time I pull it off, I could maybe make it happen and make it work this time? Maybe... Boy, it'd sure be nice if I could. Ow. Screw it. Just run. All right, the sunstones. 
Mimi Gaha. <laughs> anyway, uh, this should make traversing the area a tiny bit easier. Yipe! Although now it's just making it an even more convoluted labyrinth, so I don't know. Okay, so this guy. This is Gaudi. So I need Gaudi to be pointing to flower. The destination is misery. No. Here. Eat. The destination is still mi Do I need to change the oh wait, do I need to change the other ones first? I assume that's the case. Ow! <laughs> Mimi Guh. All I'm thinking is Mimi, big boy. I haven't watched a Jack Films thing in such a long period of time. Is he a st is he still a funny snarky asshole? <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Well, now my focus is entirely on getting that energy cell, because, boy, I would love to have that jetpack back. That jetpack is a godsend. Okay, so this is Flower. This needs to be pointing to Gaudi. Okay, the destination is Mimiga. No. Banjo-Kazooie cartoon show, but Banjo and Kazooie are voiced by Lou Albano and Danny Wellis. God help me, who are they? Uh, are you talking, uh, the Mario Brothers Super Show? Are you talking about that? Because if that's the case, I feel like I would actually fully say yes to that if I think Lou wasn't already dead. Yeah, yeah, dude's run says Lou, uh, Albano rip. Rest in delicious pepperonis. Anyway, Gaudi, ahoy! <laughs> ah, fuck you, Kazooie! <laughs> Gaudi. All right, the destination is Mimiga. No. Feed the pupper. The destination is now Flower, and now I must find the other teleporter. Uh, what location of the map was it in? I don't even know. Eep. I believe this is the way back to that other one. And look at it this way. If I keep clearing these enemies out, then nobody is going to be able to stand in, you know, in contention to me. Oh, question! Right, this is the one that we were at previously. We don't want to go through here. Question. Um, the machine gun. How do? Splat, a splat says answer. Answer what? You get it first, and then you come back to open the chest. What? Wait, you get the machine gun for- oh, 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 right! No, you're right. That's probably an upgrade to the machine gun. You're right. Yes, yes, I totally forgot that that was even a thing. This is kind of like a hub world, almost. Well, hopefully it doesn't uh, shake and change with all of this, you know, ridiculous destruction and construction situation going on. Funny stuff says, question. I, I do remember that there was some kind of an upgrade to the machine gun that made it a little bit more effective. Um, and, and, like, that basically made it unstoppable at a certain point. But boy, oh boy, do I miss the Polar Star with, like, a, a fiery passion. Who would win, Bug Coin or Dorito Coin? What the hell is Dorito coin? By the way, speaking of weird coin trivia... Uh, all right, question. You are... You're Gaudi. Okay, I need to go to Mimiga. No, uh, speaking of random corn chip stuff. Um, I just recently tried out this chip, and it was located at, like, a farmer's market nearby here. Well, I shouldn't say farmer's market. It was more like a market that is a little bit healthier for you, or at least tries to have more healthy options. 
I don't know. At, at the end of the day, I don't get their stuff for health-related things. I just get stuff there because it's different stuff, and I like different stuff. But um, one of the chips that they have is this thing called, I think, uh, Pop Corners. And basically, it's sort of the shape of a Dorito, except it's got the taste and texture of popcorn. It's weird. I'd recommend trying it just for, like, the sake of giving it a shot. Ooh, five bug coin from Splat. Oh, Maple has tried those before. I, yeah, they there is something very addictive about them. I currently have the uh, the kettle corn versions of them. They sell them at your school? Oh, geez, be lucky. Be very thankful. Because th them some good things. I like them very much. I really badly want to try some of the other flavors, like the uh, the white corn. The problem is that market that I was talking about. Uh, it's not exactly nearby my area, so it, it, it takes a, a trip outside of my area in order to get a hand of them, so... This is a rare little treat that I'm giving myself. Speaking of rare little treats, I also went and I... For some reason, popcorn was on my brain that day, so I decided to also get buttered popcorn jelly belly jelly beans. Now, how many of you are grossed out by those? Because me, I actually really freaking love them. They're, they're one of my favorite Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Problem is, because of the fun little diet I'm on, I can only eat, like... Uh, seven of them. If I've been good. And I have no other sugar after that. Maple Leaf says me, because I've tried them before. Eh, if you don't like them, that's fine. They're not a corner if they're not at a 90 to 3 angle shaking my head. <laughs> okay, I'm officially um, a little bit confused and lost here. I know Mimiga is somewhere around here, but I, God help me, I don't remember what coordinates it at, it's at. I'm just kind of killing everything just to take care of all my problems. Half a jelly bean for each toe on his ass. Why did I say that? <laughs> Butter popcorn jelly beans are an enigma. On their own, they taste fine, but if you get a handful of jelly beans and eat them all at once, it can make the whole handful taste gross for some reason. <laughs> Don't make fun of my ass toes. No, I, I kind of agree with that. Okay, so this is flour. This is pointing to... Gaudi, so we're good on that. I believe this is the lowest... No, actually, wait. No, it's not the lowest point in this entire area. When in doubt, meow! What? Oh, well, hold on a second. Noodlehead and AU in time drew my Sona. Oh! Jeez, oh, that, that that's adorable. Th thank you, Noodle, if you are watching this. If you're here... I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's always flattering as hell whenever I see anybody making drawings of me. I'm just like, are, are you sure? I'm sure Maple Lee is equally as flattered because Maple Lee came up with that bit, Sona. Again, everybody say thank you. Uh, what I could do is set a teleporter to Mimiga real quick, warp there, check the map, and see where it takes me. You know, I totally forgot that I even have a goddamn map. <laughs> I could follow that! Oh, hey, this should be open now, shouldn't it? Technically speaking, this should be open. Hold on. Or not? Misery! Oh dear. Whoop. Hold on. T Big brain, dude butt at your service. Thank you, dude run. Gotta come at it from the right angle. Okay. And there are convenient little blocks and barriers and walls everywhere. Like, I'm gonna be so happy when this place finally opens up a little bit more, because, God, why? Saren says, the map looks like a snail tried to slither through toxic waste. 
Yeah, it does look like sort of a, a failed uh, anteater experiment. Though I think that's kind of the point when it comes to this game. Ow! Oh, like cave tunnels and whatnot. Why did I do that? I'm just like, oh yeah, let me kill this guy real quick. Anyway. Misery. Missouri. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, let me try and kill this guy for his health. Or I could just get myself hurt again. And get, like, one heart. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, let me take note of this. This is not... Okay, this is where the teleporter... This current teleporter is. The other one was a little bit lower down. So I'm going to guess this direction. Ah, okay, okay. Several awoos in chat. The awoo army has arrived. There we go. Thank you. Awo, awoo, kiwoo. Which is just a woo except with X's. <laughs> oh, oh, um, wait, wait, no. That's, that, is that okay? Was that all right? Was that? Uh oh. Destroy, uh oh. Oh no. Shoot. I don't think I was supposed to be coming down here. Oh no, I, I don't have weapons to fight this. Um, maybe if I'm stupidly lucky and if I avoid all other shots, I might be able to get out of here alive. A guy can dream, can't he? All right, listen, learn. Um. I don't think I saved up to that point. So that looks it looks like we're going to have to go through and do a little bit more housework to try and get everything set up properly. But now we've learned. Optional boss fight. Or at least I hope it's optional. Oh, pff, you dodging son of a... I'm out. Level 3 Bubbler might be your best bet there if you're low on health. Okay. Uh, I'll try. That's actually a really, really good place to use Bubbler now that I think about it. I do have level 3 Bubbler. Also. No, I do not want to use the teleporter. I was just very curious about it for a second there. And my Missouri. <laughs> My God, Jesus. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We will be fine. There's plenty of squishy things to kill. All the enemies flying into me get popped by the, uh, oh yes, of course. I mean, that's why I specified that it's a little bit more of a defensive weapon. So I believe how I did this before was I took a trip all the way down. Come on. Oh, I'm just going to run. Forget it. Jesus. Stop in the name of love. Okay. <laughs> okay, we hear flower. 
I believe I need to feed you. The destination is Gaudi. Take me to Gaudi, please. And then I feed you. The destination is flower. We got it. Let's try not to disfigure ourselves further. That's kind of an interesting boss fight, though. Like, I didn't have a whole lot of health going into that. If I had more health going into that, I kind of... I'm kind of interested in taking a look at it. Funny <laughs> stuff says, Oh my god, I zoned out and we're back to the teleporters again? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, Krill uh, wait, um, Kier, Kiri, says the game I was talking about was Super Meat Boy. Oh, nice. I have not played Super Meat Boy, uh, or at least not the version that, actually, do I even own Super Meat Boy? That's a good question. Hmm. Give me a moment. Let me level up the bubble. <sighs> Just at the nick of time, when you really badly need to get your hands on the, uh... If you need to get your hands on the shards, won't give you shards. Instead, it'll give you a an absolute crapload, torrential amount of hearts. And just... My stupid luck, I just switched out to the wrong ones at the wrong time. Here, this is what the bubbler does, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know. Though it also doesn't have a whole lot of ow, ammo to it. Yeah, the problem is I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm used to the Polar Star, and that's very... Th that's one of the only things I'm actually genuinely kind of decent at when it comes to this game. I've trained myself the hell up on it. Yeah, it's enter... Uh, yeah, it's uh, ammo regen is fast. Yeah, that's the thing. Ooh, Maple has got a character design thing. Let me look at this. Ah. Uh, Looks very sleepy. It also reminds me a little bit of the, um, the big old goat boys in Hat in Time. Combination between a dog, a deer, and a bear. Anyway, let me save. Well, why the heck not? Dog -bader. Pet of man bear pig. Alright. Let me try and make this sort of um, a main here. Oh dear. Whoa! Yeah, this is this is working. Oh dear. Oh god. Yep, yep, this helps. Uh that not so much. Shit. I really should have saved that for another time. <sighs> this is completely insane. Uh, 
I'm nearly dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Oh my god. I think I could possibly do that, though. Right. I'm gonna save the bubbler for later in the fight. Now that I know the worst of it. Why does this thing look like that one Pokemon? <laughs> Turns out it is the next Pokemon. I think I see what the big deal is here. Yeah, look at that. Oh dear. Right, this is this is manageable. This is doable. I, I like this. I like this version of the boss. Oh dear. Oh god. I see an opening, I'm taking it. Oh, come on. Lower down, you son of a... I think I could still do this with a little bit more of this gun. I just need to avoid the drills. Nearly there. Come on. Wait, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, dear. Whew. Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Fought off Deconstructor. And now I just need to not die. <laughs> The spell on the sunstones has been lifted. Yeah, these sunstones are assholes. Oh, okay, good thing we're animating every single individual one. I have three health. Holy crap. You know what's one thing that I really wish they did more often? In the original cave story, they didn't do the whole, like, shard drop. I feel like that could have potentially been a staple. And they ne they didn't do that. Like, they didn't do that for, like, nearly any of the boss fights. Like, they did that for the first one, and then, like, none of the other ones. Now go save real quick. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, right? Eh. I'm so scared. Eh. <laughs> The, the tension when you when you're down to like three health and you could potentially be killed by anything all right the curse of the sunstones has been lifted so to what extent does that mean you know like what parts of the barriers within this area have been unlocked I hope it's all of them dude says all of them thank God because I am sick and tired of being limited to where I can go. And now I must just... I, I gotta jam and kill a whole bunch of things real quick, because I lost a lot of my uh, progress on a lot of my guns. Ugh, oh, you bastard. Here. Have bubbling. Funny enough, I did not resort to using the missile launcher. That was mostly the uh, the fireball and not much else. Again, don't need health. I have healed myself already. What I really need is crystals. Help me. Sunstones aren't blocking my way to Jenka, though. That that is a separate barrier. All right, fair enough. I did. I figured it wouldn't be that easy. I'm just glad I can traverse this area without too much problem now. That's fine. It's also very cathartic to finally be able to not have to worry about this area, like especially after the, the massive headache and a half that was the teleporter fiasco. Can you stop shooting defense bones?
Here, tactical bone. Enabled. I don't need health, loses health. Hey. You have some and then you lose some in this game. That's how it works. Or at least that's how it's always worked for me. And again, oh, ow. I have the sneaking suspicion that we will be back several times in this place, so... Having it more open to uh, the entire place, like, that that would make me very happy. Tactical bone, er, incoming. Wacka, wacka. That's the kind of joke I would think, like, you know, I, Jesus. Again, that reminds me of the Newgrounds era. <laughs> The old school internet, before things started getting battened down, just like, think of the children! How about you think of the damn parents that are just letting kids watch random YouTubes and streams? Gosh darn it, dog a dick, bro. These darn kids today! Ruining everything for everyone else! Oh, the funny thing is, is that, um, my parents, they were actually, I, I'm not gonna say they were strict because they weren't, but they did grill into our heads the fact that the internet is not just some, like, safe place to just post whatever the hell it is that you want. Like, they were very clear on letting you know, it's like, just an FYI, the internet, like, that person that you sent a message to, that's a person. You know, like, that's another human being. And maybe you shouldn't tell them something that is really important. You know, it's like, maybe you shouldn't go and... And I kind of stuck with that uh, my entire life. And I try to remember and keep in mind that, like, everybody on the internet is another person. Unless it's a robot. <laughs> in which case, you know, God help you. Yeah, be careful who you trust, pretty much. That's a good, quick way of saying exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> ah, Saren is back. Got some cookies from Grandmother. Oh, how nice. I hope they were stupidly fresh. Oops. There is nothing quite as good as freshly made cookies. Not from a box, either. From scratch. Kappa's already been around, uh, equal- okay. Right. It's just not been following the rule as much as- okay, right. And now they're in trouble. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, basically the only time that YouTube ever does anything when it comes to policy is when they could potentially be in, a, in hot water in some capacity. And that's the sad bit. It just, it seems like there is no progress unless YouTube is in trouble. And it co it, it creates this constant spiral of nothing but, oh god, all of our, like, all of everybody's jobs, everybody's future is now in peril. Thanks to the fact that YouTube couldn't, like, you know. They just needed to have their child, uh, like, you know, the child analytics. They didn't want to get rid of them. Maple says, I knew that. I just hate on how they changed everything. Sometimes change is good, and honestly, I think these kinds of changes are going to be positive in the long run. It's just... Mm. Teleporter doesn't respond until I talk to the pupper. They'd take it out on people who did nothing wrong. Uh, pretty much. I mean, that's basically the new... What's currently set up in general. <clears throat> Nowadays. Like, one controversy, and then suddenly we have to, you know, we have to start taking out the the scythe and slicing off the heads of people that maybe they didn't cause anything, but hey, it makes us look good. Anyway, let's use this teleport. Whoop! And here we are. So what location of the map is this? Oh, yeah, it's this, like, weird, like, hollowed out area. All right.
This is actually a really creative way of reusing assets and such. You know, like, the, the excuse that, oh, it the entire world is just being pulled apart and it's being put back together in random assortments. And funny enough, like, that, that excuses the fact that it's a whole bunch of assets that have been repurposed and a bunch of, like, design, perp uh, design choices that have been repurposed. Like, it's a pretty good excuse. Like, I approve of that. Um... Can't go up there, right? Don't think so. I'm guessing I'm gonna get the machine gun here, right? Because <laughs> there's way too many of these uh, these star blocks. Okay, dokie. Okay. I'm trying to be careful here, but it's tough. All right, I got hit once there. That sucks. Uh, I can still break down those blocks with rocket launcher and bubbler. Oh, oh yeah, true. Oh well. Dusty passage. Oh, oh! Hey, looks like I've found a friend. Hello. There seems to be a metal box lodged in the sand with its legs waving around in the air. Pull on it. Meh. <laughs> no. Here, yeah, the raw quote strength. What's up? Ah, good. You're not gonna make the, uh, you know, the, the translation crowd angry. Or maybe you will. I don't know. What about? Oh, hey, quote. Uh, you have any idea where we are? I'm a little lost. Oh, well, not a problem. Just grab hold of me and we'll smash out. I'll be. I think I have sand in my thrusters. Uh, no matter. If we can't bust up, we'll just bust sideways. Make way! Ah, uh, what a big burly machine. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, I love Balrog so much. Vein chamber. Hey, quote, looks like it's dead end. Well, aside from this boulder, of course. Wanna help me move it? Sure. <laughs> I knew it. All right, you can take the lift. Perfect. Let's move this sucker. Ready? Oh boy, it would really help if we had a curly brace here. Push! Yeah! Oh. Well, now we're blocked in. Thanks, asshole. Uh... Great! Now what do we do? Move the rock again, jackass. <laughs> oh, dude, run. Oh, yeah! Kind of makes more sense for him to say, but huzzah is just more iconic. I just don't want to think of him as the Kool-Aid man. That's it. Um... Did you hear a noise just now? Uh, oh! The waterway! I can't swim! Goodbye, sir. Oh, dear. We made it to the labyrinth. Oh, the old clinic. Okay, I feel like these are definitely going to need a filter, so let me go ahead and turn on the robot. There we go. Oh, you finally came to. Gave me a bit of a scare falling in here like that. Well, welcome to the labyrinth. Hope you get used to this place, because their way out is impossible. Maybe. Kind of. Okay, okay, there's actually a long shaft out of this room that extends far to an exit. But the way things have gotten lately, the whole hallway is impossible to navigate. Well, if you need to get out of here that badly, I have an idea. There's some cat at the entrance to the shaft doing work on some weird wheel dolly. I think he has the right idea. Maybe you could ask him for a ride to the exit. I'd ask myself, but... Uh, um... Well, 
you see ya. See what? Oh, me. You don't remember, huh? You were thrown down here once before by that witch. But you got right back up and opened those doors for me and my friends. I see. And then you got kicked back down here? Or you got scared and decided to come back through? But you're not tough enough? <clears throat> More like the magical labyrinth of T-Pain the robot. <laughs> Singular T-Pain the robot. Okay. Well, I can take a rest real quick. Good. All right, we here at the labyrinth. Where's Jenka? I must scold her for putting me through so much hell. How dare you? I don't know what you want from me. Oh dear. Okay, so that's gonna make things ish uh, an issue. Especially if I don't have any sort of arcs. Ah, oh, this is about as perilous as the actual play. Ah, da -da 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 -da. hello. Labor. Oh no. Oh, this is, feel this is feeling more and more puzzly as we go. Labyrinth S. Oh, lovely. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Panic sounds. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll be good. This is a big part of Cave Story. Just, you know, feeling your way around. Figuring out what you're supposed to do. I really, I wouldn't have it any other way. Dude Run says, like I said, I apologize profusely, but for what I'm about to go through if I hated the teleporter puzzle. Oh boy. I, I hope that somehow my head can stomach this a little bit more. Oh, Jesus! Okay, yeah, this place is treacherous. Um, well, we... Oh, I see we have a save room of some kind. Oh, quite literal. There's a large shutter here. It won't budge. There's health. That's all that matters. But I can't bust through this. Any random walls that just happen to be hollow? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So keep in mind... There's this thing, and then there's another save room sitting over here with some kind of a chest. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, funny stuff has cheered one bit. One bit equals one prayer for Bibby. <laughs> okay. Go platform. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, ay, 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 I just hope I don't get sandwiched in between two walls. That's that's all I really want. Damn it! <clears throat> Chalk that up to another situation where I'm like, oh, I hope I don't die. <laughs> it dies immediately. I'm almost hungry for death. Got the pinch. Classic video game pinch. Alright. Hmm. It's fine. I mean, I'm guessing the, the biggest challenge at this point is probably going to be... just getting through here without getting, like, squashed. Oh, dear. It wanted to give you a hug. You know, I I'm all for love and affection, but, um... Now, there's a time and a place for everything, and I feel it's not now. Okay.
I need to be a little patient on these. Is what I, I think. I think is what's going on here. Um. So. Wait a minute. I don't see any way. Oh no 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 no! I see it. There we go. That guy. Whoops. I was just like, hmm. Thanks, dude. You tap the block and it moves! Okay. It just took me a moment to remember that mechanic. Okay, we got a door. What would be the easiest way to not get my ass handed to me here? God, I want... I want the good booster, please. Damn it! Oh. You really, like, you cannot hesitate, even for a second. Which sucks, because my keyboard is one of those stupid little chiclet keyboards. You know, the, one that, the ones that are a little bit flatter. And also, the keys, they're kind of sticking down. Like, what I wouldn't do to have a mechanical keyboard. I feel like this is just, like, me blaming lag. Or just like, oh, my keyboard, you know, my, my controller didn't work. Oh, dear. Funny stuff says, I'm imagining Bitby using a keyboard to the side like a Pop-Tart. <laughs> I'm not that much of a savage. Oh my god! Ugh. This X button keeps, like, it keeps getting stuck. And I do not need that from you today, sir. Why didn't you get squashed? That's what I thought. Okay. Now. He's just sitting there, Pit. Menacingly! Alright, the easiest solution I can think of here is... Going this direction first. There we go. The other way just seemed like death. Labyrinth W! Fun! Oh dear. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, nice Dorito-y deliciousness. Oh, hello. I remember this house. I believe it was in a different place. Ah, the Labyrinth Shop. Can anybody help me and assist me in this place? I see I could save. Necessity. I think they might have expanded since the last time I was here. Hey there. This is the Labyrinth Shop. Professor Booster sent you? Yeah, I know him. I've been working with him a bit in the last few weeks. He ordered an energy cell a week ago, but hasn't really followed up since. I started to think he lost interest. Sad to say, the Gaudis in charge of shipping the thing here got themselves in some trouble. Long story short, the energy cell is being held off in the re wait, Revolutionarium? It's a long way off the corridor. Say, while you're here, I've been having some other trouble with my inventory as of late. Someone or something has been messing around in my cold storage. Would you mind checking it out for me? You can have anything you might uh, that might help you out. First, you'll need this key. The door should be down the bottom of the area with the twin clinics. It's a bit of a maze in there, though. To get through the maze, hmm. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, oh, don't look at me like that. I'm sure someone in the labyrinth knows the trick to getting through the maze. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they do. And it certainly isn't me. Well, I see a computer sitting up here. Let's see if you guys have it running. Searching. Connection found. Opening client. Hey, someone's sending us a transmission. Location. Labyrinth. Huh? Let me see that. Whoa! 
Jesus, th this was out of nowhere. Quote, is that you? Hey, let me on this thing. Hey, Curly! Quote, you're okay! Boy, this is a mess we were in this time, huh? I managed to find my way to this little town. But enough about me! How the heck did you wind up back in the labyrinth again? I don't know. Teleporters? Strange occurrences? Aliens! Oh, dude runs heading out. Good luck with her labyrinth. Help! <laughs> Terziak in the chat says, The trick is called trial and error. That's about it. Yeesh. Well, you're on your own for now. Oh! You found Balrog? And... Got separated again? Yeah, I think he's drowning. What? Excuse me. <laughs> I hate to interrupt, but Booster contacted us recently. Quote, I need you to bring the Sand Zone cart, oh, wait, cart ASAP. Booster wants to sit down with us and discuss things. I was about to say the Sand Zone carp. <laughs> I need that fish, ASAP. It'd help a lot if he could sit in the same room as us. Hey, 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 don't hang up. All right, quote, try to get back here in one piece. I'm gonna stick around this village and keep it safe while you're gone. See you soon. Aw, oh, how nice. Okay, it's a teleporter. It appears to still be in working condition. Upon closer inspection, it looks like a panel was removed. A small screen inside says, cannot connect to router, use keycard for manual entry. The keycard is still inside. I won't say anything if you don't say anything. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I need to check the uh, the keys on this keyboard, because, again, they are sticking something fierce. Or better yet, maybe I should just get a new keyboard, because I'm sick and tired of this one. <laughs> Whistles of totally not stealing anything. Hey, son, you stealing something? No, sir! Round and round the clock can spins. New exits shown where time begins. Ah, what? Yeah, I just mumbling an old song to myself. <laughs> round and round the clock spins. So, Oro, do I need to start thinking about things in a clockwork fashion? That's what I'm getting here. So this is Labyrinth S. This is Labyrinth D Oh, here's a- Hmm. Here, wait a minute. I think I might have somewhat of an idea going on here. So we have an S and we have a W. This must mean... Um, this must mean it has something to do with direction, right? So this is Labyrinth S, Labyrinth W. Okay. Southwest, got it. That's my assumption. And my guess is that... If we think about it from that direction, then this guy's hint actually helps out considerably. Hold on. Let me read it again, just for clarity's sake. And not get killed. Yipe! You guys have any crystals I could borrow? I don't need ammo! Holy pit! Round and round the clock hand spins. New exits shown where time begins. But in the end, the clower hands oh the, the clock hands stops. Uh the forward path behind us. Hmm. Never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> Okay, Jesus. So that's kind of a quick exit, since I'm going through that so quickly. So keep that in mind. Yipe! Jesus. Help! Nope! Again, this, this is pretty much as treacherous as the actual labyrinth. Funny stuff says get comfy. <laughs> Shut up. I will not take such sass. Oh, 
Okay, okay, all right. Ah, Jesus. Okay, level out, level out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus, no! Oh, God! You guys try. That's one thing that I... Uh, God, wouldn't it be funny if there was a function in Twitch? If somebody was really being obnoxious and just being like, You're not doing it right! Wouldn't it be great if we could just send them the mapping for the controls and just be like, All right, here, you play, asshole! And then watch that I, I would immediately get schooled. God damn it! It is, uh... <laughs> backseat gaming. Yeah, the, the backseat gaming function, I would love that. You do it, then! Owl has... Ugh, God. Owl has donated one bit with a facepalm. I, I guess at least you donated. <laughs> Funny stuff says, that's something silly enough I think Discord would do it. <laughs> Discord, live streaming. Ow. I'm gonna head this way. Ah! You know what? Baby steps. Let's just take things, like, one step at a time here. Uh, so this is the location that we need to go, correct? Okay. And I think in order to do this, it's- I think it's hinting at the idea that I need to go counterclockwise in some capacity. Don't really know what and why. And also, this guy is dead. Because <clears throat> I will not take that from him. Ah, oh, Jesus! Shit bag. I need health. Discord, you do it then for video calls. Uh, have I ever played Mimiga Army? I haven't. I'm particularly fresh when it comes to anything like cave story mod related. I really should try some more mods just because I'm... <clears throat> it's like, I, man, I love cave story so much. And I feel like I would get a kick out of just playing a little bit more of it. Have I ever joined the army? What? <laughs> Boy, unless I was somehow drunkenly drafted, I'd like to hope no. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we. My assumption here. Let me let me look at the map, because it looks like the way that we moved through this map is we went in a counterclockwise motion. So perhaps what it's hinting at is that I need to find a way through it via the opposite direction of some kind. Some of them can get really Kaizo-like. I imagine, and that's why I'm trying to avoid doing any that are just stupid. I don't play video games for the sake of Kaizo. I play video games because I like to have fun. So, these things can be broken. Whoa! Where am I? Out! Get out here and say that to my face, ass! Fine. Jesus. Okay. Ah, it's the panties all over again. And for those of you who don't get the reference, probably good. Ah, 
Ah! How lovely. Progress! And also... Oh, shit! Oh my god, I pressed escape and escape and it uh, it closed out. Man, I'm so used to all the nice things. Like all all the nice little functions of new video games and that they won't just do that. Oh, I feel like a doof. All right. Well, hey, no harm done. I just gotta get back over there, which can be done. In fact, I did it in record time. Uh, salt emo- so, so much saltiness, so many emo- uh, yeah. I deserve it. I definitely deserve it. There we go. <laughs> I solved it. I fixed it. <laughs> Funny stuff is putting salt on popcorn. There we go. That's why you guys are breaking out the salt. Have doggo army for luck. There we go. No, I, I, I completed it. No, what I wanted to do was I wanted to click on Maple Leaf's link and take a look at the colored version of the, um, uh, the, the bear deer uh, puppy. And it's adorable. Don't do something stupid again. No promises. Fortnite. <laughs> and funny stuff post Reggie saying Fortnite. Fun fact though, uh, this game is so stupidly loud that I have to have the volume like ridiculously down in order for it to not just break your ears. Here, it's currently on 27. Here's how loud it is if I have it at the normal volume. Here we are. This is the normal volume. You enjoy that? Yeah, you can't hear me, can you? Hello! I mean, this is a jam, that's for sure. But it's also obnoxious as hell. And that's not even like the, uh... Like that, that's not even the loudest I could possibly make it. Eh. Just off the, off the top of my head, let's just say I decided to raise it like a couple of dec decibels a little bit higher. What would happen if I did? Oh my god! All right, dead base, but shut it off! The effectiveness of that joke is not very good because I I have to click off of the window and stop the music every single time. I I like the Organia soundtracks and whatnot, but um, boy, it's shrill. Anyway. Uh, I see another location where I could, like, bust in. Did it drop the base? Hi! Who's ready for an ass whooping? <laughs> or alternatively, or tornado twister. I wonder what a mix-up between this and Darude's Standstorm would sound like. Oh, no! I did a stupid thing! The things I do for health. My finite level of health that I have. <laughs> I 
S Saren says, I can make that happen. Yeah, I, I know that there's that one mashup website. Um, it's... Oh, shoot. It, it, it's I think it's literally just called Labyrinth. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This is Jenka 2 now that I think about it. Labyrinth is an entire other uh, soundtrack thing. Yeah, fun fact. This is actually a more jazzed-up version of Jenka's theme. Okay, before anything, go save, please. Here's the thing. The place that I'm supposed to save at this point is through all that shit. I don't think I'm going to be any uh, safer going through anything else. Like, it's not like attempting to try and get to that save point is going to help me. So I'm just going to go through here and hope. Oh! Err. 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 I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind entirely. This game! I love this game so much. This is my favorite game of all time. Can't you tell? Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh, now I'm just getting sloppy. <laughs> Pissed. Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna save in a location where... I um... My gun can't go through those barriers anymore. <laughs> Saren says, I'm having trouble finding the soundtrack on YouTube, so you might just drop it. Oh, well. I mean, that's fine. I mean, it should... God, somebody had to have uploaded it to YouTube. The Cape Story soundtrack... That is actually pretty nice and spamble. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, which version am I looking for? I'm looking for the track Jenga 2. Uh, Jenka, rather. Jenka 2 from uh, Cape Story. Which one? Okay, whichever one is playing right now. That's it. It's Jenka 2. I know it's Jenka 2. Because I'm a freaking nerd when it comes to this uh, this game. Speaking of which, if you've never seen my uh, my top five video game soundtracks, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, spoil it for you right now. I mean, okay, actually, it was uh, cover albums. It, it wasn't just video game soundtracks; it was ca cover albums. If you have not seen it, uh, spoiler, uh, what one was DM Dokiro's Cave Story Arranged? And boy, oh boy, if you have not heard it, if you're a fan of Cave Story, go li Oh, Jesus Christ! The Running Hell one? No, not the Running Hell one.
Again, literally the track is titled Jenka 2. I'm so shocked that so many of you are still here. <laughs> I'm just like, yay! Watch Bit get increasingly more angry at this game. I'm not that kind of streamer. I'm not that kind of gamer. That ain't what I do. <laughs> Silver says I have nothing better to do. Okay. Wow. Sis is like, no, we like your content. It's like, no, I'm bored. I got nothing. Funny stuff said I posted something in the playlist channel that I might like that I, you just whipped up. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Hold on. It's 28 seconds, whatever it is, and I'm I'm raising up uh, the volume a bit for this. What? <laughs> for God's sake! Funny stuff, you have committed sin. Apologize. Go bathe in the holy water bath that you were like, that specifically designated for you. <laughs> oh, why? Okay. You know what's the worst part? Honestly, it works. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't become a situation, you know, like... Oh, now that's literally all I'll think when I hear that song now. Ow. Yep. Okay, caution. I've done it. I've done the thing. Although, give me a moment. Yeah, I think I would like to have at least a level three on me, just in case. Can't beat this story. Mm -hmm. That's what it. Yeah, that's that's clearly what that is. All right, folks, we done it. We saved. I got the health. Jesus. All right. Cool. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh. Okay, luckily I've actually collected quite a few really nice things. Good. So, now I gotta get through here. Okay. Okay. Success! Alright. Labyrinth M. Um, by the way, Labyrinth M, that throws my theory entirely out the window. Because the last time I checked, there is no direction titled M. M for Mario. <laughs> you have it set for M for Mini. But you should have it set to W for Wombo! North, South, Meast, and Weast. Uh, 
At least no sh- wait. No shit post, that's not conductor related. <laughs> oh, let me see what Maple post. What is this? Maybe oh yeah, maybe. right. Yeah, the the best puns. I saw that a little bit earlier, uh, Maple. It's just dad jokes the movie. Okay, so we got a door. Okay, we got two doors. Uh, what do you think, guys? Left or right? Okay. Terziak says right. Silver says right. Splat says up, thanks. <laughs> hmm. All right, I gotten two rights and absolutely no left, so let's go. Labyrinth W. Okay. I feel like the crux of this labyrinth is just... Oh, God. I'm starting to see the devilishness of this place, though. I think if I end up managing to succeed in uh, completing this labyrinth... It will not be on purpose. Hey friends, how you doing? Sup, one side. Out of my way, losers. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Okay, max missiles increased. Sure. Fluffy says, I'm a sucker for puns. And then Terzak says, what flavor? And then Fluffy says, any. What flavor can a pun possibly be in? I mean, I suppose like dad joke. Um, you know, t technically, I've heard some pretty good puns from mom, so mom jokes could potentially happen, but they th they do not surpass the majesty that is the dad joke, though. Okay, so here we are. We're back. We're back here. All right. I get this feeling that if I go through here, it's going to be different now. No? Okay, apparently not. Very well. So what happens if I go back through here? Okay, I just go through this door again. Noted. Can I do anything with that, uh, that bullet sitting up there? Pawnapple flavored. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Somewhat of a joke went on, or, you know, some kind of a thing. Back through here. Uh, see, the thing, I, nothing here looks different. I think I might be on the wrong path with this. There weren't any other doors sitting in here, were there? Like, am I just completely off base here? Um, hidden ones, I don't think that would... That wouldn't happen. 
That's not really a cave story sort of thing, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Oh. Well, what's that thing in the distance? Let me take a look at the map, actually. The map might have some kind of an answer. Oh, hmm! Hold up! Oh! Hmm! Curious! <laughs> Clever bastard! He, he's made several of these rooms. Mmm. -hmm. I understand. Okay. Wow, green. I think what I'm supposed to be doing here... So, wait, where does this door lead me, then? A dead end. <laughs> of course. I'm Dr. Jiro. Here, let me refill your health. Been stuck in this maze a while now. Was wondering when someone would show up. Kind of funny seeing you here again. Last person to show up here was... Oh, shoot. What was his name? Some gunsmith or something? Uh... But I'll cut to the chase. If you have a missile launcher, I can make it a bit more powerful for you. Oh, you have a missile launcher. Well, how about it? At the cost of some ammunition, would you like to make it your mi your missiles more powerful? Why the hell not? Oh, one more thing. The manual also says that standard ammunition upgrades will no longer be available. Is that okay as well? Screw it. Wonderful. I'll go for power over quantity. You know, quality over quantity. Am I Yoda? No. Missiles have powered up. It's like a baby Yoda. <laughs> Why, it's that nice mellow fellow from before. I missed all the par- Oh my god, I remember this guy. I care so much about- Let me see, um... Uh, what would be a good- uh, I'm just gonna... Screw it, I'm gonna go with this. <clears throat> Here we go. Why, it's that nice fellow from before. You missed all the parties I held. But then I wondered what kind of explosives there were in other parts of the island. And so I set off on a grand journey. Unfortunately, I got very lost. I can't find my way out of here. Oh, is that a map system? Is it for me? No. I understand. I would be in tears, but I have no tear ducts. I don't think I want to give up my only source of getting out of here. Although I could. In theory, I very much could. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I hand it to him and then just cross my fingers that somehow this will work? I could save and then I could just reload. A wise man once said, if you're going straight and keep going in circles, try going in circles and you'll go straight. Oh, but I think I might be going in the wrong direction. Alright. Thank you very much! Again, you are a very kind person. I do not have anything on me of value to give you, but here, take this and use it inside the generator room in Grass Town. Ooh, got the remote control. Take whatever you find. Okay, well, let's see if I can get myself out of this maze. Honestly, I don't really use the map system too much, so... Yipe. So, I think the whole point here is it's trying to trip me up. And I think the point is I'm trying to go... I'm trying to go this way several times, and I will eventually make my way out. Eep. Labyrinth S. Okay. Hmm. So that's that's the actual way out, or, you know, the, the way that I came in. All right, let's try and go this way. Wait, 
Weppy says, I don't think I've expressed this enough that you love my voices in an immense amount. Oh, it's a bunch of filters and things, though. It's not really my voice. So, uh, okay, that's one rotation. Ow. Woo. Okay, this is different. Still. Okay, fair enough. Okay, different is good. Wondering about the sand zone enemies in the labyrinth? Well, with the island getting holes in it, it was bound to happen. <laughs> Fair enough. Although, yes, I do believe we have started basically hard mode. Actually, no. I don't know if there is a hard... I, if there is some kind of a hard mode, it's probably like a hidden hell mode of some kind. Shit! Ooh, we're fine. Ooh, ha! Ooh, hello! Hello! Look what we found! Mm, save room! Uh, I guess this is where we cement our decision, eh? No map. Open the chest. Bubble ammo increased by 15. Uh, very nice. But that ain't exactly what I was looking for. Very well. At least I got something. Uh, so what else is out here, then? If not that... Oh, please die. Please die. Shit. Oh my god, where, <laughs> where am I now? This is a big mistake. Arr. Die, you sticky, slimy son of a... I die. Maple Leaf posted a meme. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So. Add a little bit more bubbler. It's interesting. In a couple of cases, it's actually better to not collect ammunition and stuff for your weapons. Again, there was the um, the rare little Easter egg that if you didn't collect any of the missile launcher for the entirety of the game, you could manage to get yourself a super swanky uh, missile launcher at the very end. Have I ever watched Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? No, but I know of what it is, and it looks creepy as balls. I basically decided, eh, nah. They added a... Oh, yeah, the Sands uh, Secret Boss in Toontown. I remember hearing about that. Don't bit me, I'm scared. Again, I feel like if I actually manage to finish this and figure this out, it will not be because I big-brained and managed to figure it out by myself. It'll be because I accidentally stumbled into the answer. That was close.
Okay, I'm back at the dead end. How you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day. Have I ever played House Flipper, been playing it yourself recently? Uh, I actually own House Flipper. Here's a fun fact. That was on uh, a potential block of games that I might have played for Snatcher Plays, maybe. It was one of those things where I'm like, hmm, would that be interesting to watch Snatcher just toil and torment about trying to rebuild a home? Uh, eventually, I decided, uh, nah, I think I'll skip it. You know, I notice. Is there more enemies over here right now? Like in this room? Is that the hint? The new face of the hit show, Home Improvement. <laughs> you know what? I'm way too curious. I, I hold on. Uh, I need to see how this would sound. There we go. Do 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 Sorry for breaking your ears. Damn the tool man Taylor. I also, I think I did it a little bit too high pitch. Still less of an ass than Tim Allen. <laughs> Oh, God. I wonder how he's doing on his newer show. I, I, he has, like, a new sitcom, right? It's all about family values and whatnot. And... Sound Snatcher makes when 50 hat kids show up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no! Help! Have I ever played Rock of Ages? No, I actually have not. I I know a little bit about what it is, but there. Eh. You found that there's a sequel that improves on it? Whatever. Really? That's kind of cool. You think I would enjoy playing it? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, back to the dead end. All right, so noted. Question, does the dead end... Let's try and, like, change the to, like, the opposite direction, maybe. Because there's something about clockworks in this that I'm just... I'm trying to piece together. Uh, unless, well, hold on. I think the idea is that I'm supposed to be moving in sort of the direction of a clock. Or not. <laughs> Thanks for the clip. <laughs> Saren says, wait, I'm an artist. I can make fan art. <laughs> 
You can. The question of whether or not you should. That question looms in the distance. This just seems like a never-ending loop. Okay. Fluffy says I have to wait to do fan art. Oh, right, weren't you talking about how you're getting a, a new tablet for Christmas? That's freaking cool, I should say. Funny Stuff says I have an announcement to make. All of you are so cool. That is all. Carry on. <laughs> Maybe the trick is that the dead end isn't actually a dead end. No, you. Curious case of Bitby and a set of doors. <laughs> like, this seems different. This seems awfully different. But is this right? Is this what the game's trying to go for here? Are you lost? Well, don't give up. As you move forward, try to look to the past for guidance. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? There's a point to what he just said. I don't get it. Okay, so now, this is not the door that I entered through, right? This is different. Okay. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thing, it, it's now different. We're not dealing with the front door anymore. We're dealing with this strange side door. Shit, dude, you god. That could have been bad. I am so close to death. Can one of you guys just drop some hearts? I would appreciate that. Does this place have, like, a bed that I can go and stop at real quick? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Heck, you know what? Let's save right here in the middle of this really strange part of the labyrinth. Who cares? Panic noises. Oh, it's cool. We have fixed the situation. All right, let's go through this again. Okay. Okay. So in theory, all right, all right, all right, all right. So keep going through this direction and yes. Okay, now this, this motion seems to be consistent now. Hmm, but what does that mean? I think this is another, like, triple door scenario.
Okay, so what if I broke the chain and went the opposite direction? Okay, now we go back this direction. Okay, all right. So if I decide to head back into the room... What the fuck? Hmm. Uh, I think I want to get back all that progress that I lost, because I don't think I was supposed to do that. Because I'm going to guess that this is probably progress. <laughs> Splat says, reopen stream to fuck after fixing PC. Wonderful return. Alright, so if I went through this door... Oh, okay, 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 okay. We are now in Labyrinth C. Well, I remember we came here, and then I died, right? I got squashed by a thing. So... This is... This is different. This is... Egypt! The puppy wishes me luck. Okay. Thank you, puppy. But now we know. What did I think of that? Uh, give me a moment. I need to find a place for sa of safety. Eh! No. Okay. What did I think of that? Let me see. Oh, yeah, we talked about this before. I think he's, like, adorable. And I really imagine that he would just trip over his feet. <laughs> the clumsy furry boy. -o. What are you? What are you, a bit be sandwich? What are you, a bit be sandwich? Oh, will you stop jumping, you son of a... Okay. Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're fine. We are okay. I feel like I need to swap over to something else. Here. This'll help me a bit. There we go. I'm so terrified of any of those rails. Okay. Splat says my monitor is now TV sized. Okay, this is uh, doing me some favors right now. Because this is like very awkward enemy placement. Though if I get hit once, then I think I lose all of my shuriken power. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Minion number th 632. Boss, I did a bad thing! Does it concern me? No! Then suffer in silence. Jesus, okay, okay. You bastard. Okay. I'm so scared because I never know what direction e any of these things are going to go. That one doesn't even move. 
Great. Okay. Yeah, sorry if this is a little bit quiet and tedious for some people to watch, but... Shit! <sighs> Oh my god, all right. Here's the thing, we've made progress. Like, that is amazing. Just the fact that I've actually managed to sort of feel my way around the labyrinth, it's frustrating as shit, but we've done it. That said, though, I'm very curious and interested to keep going, but we've also been going for a while, so I think I have to leave us on another unsolved half puzzle. <laughs> Whoops. Quiet and te tedious. Shit! Yeah, sorry. Yep, but yeah, I need to go and make myself some food and stuff like that. I found that I don't think very well if I don't have any nutrition going to the brain. And boy, as of late, I have been eating, like, a very small diet just for the sake of compensating to lose weight, so... Mm. Although it does make me feel better all around just being healthy, so that helps me. I'm so sad. I want I, I want to just grab all of the cinnamon coke sitting behind me and down it, but that's horrible. Fluffy says it's quarter to four. What time zone are you? Oh, right. You said that you were in um, England, did you say? I'm trying to remember. You, you are not within this time zone. Yeah, four in the morning. Fluffy, why? I must know. I I'm not ending here just yet. If I remember correctly, I think you said something about being in England. Am I right? Please tell me I'm right. I don't want to be stupid. I don't want to be wrong. I could be entirely wrong. But please correct me. Splat says, if we were in Fluffy's time zone, I too would watch the stream until 4 a.m. Oh, please. Sleep is a good thing. Fluffy says yes, thank you very much. I just needed that little bit off of my mind. Just like, I didn't get that totally wrong, right? All right, all right, all right. I think this is a good time to cap things off. And also to click off of the window and stop the music. Come on. Sleep is for the Wii and then falls over dead. Who's sleep? Is, is that a gentleman that I don't know? Okay, then. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming out to the stream. Thanks to the people that uh, did any kind of donations or uh, did any follows to the channel. I appreciate you guys doing that stuff, considering it's never necessary or, like, you know, it's never a necessity to donate anything. But I appreciate it when you do. It's cool. Oh, and Al has donated one more bit at the very end here. Again, thank you very much for that. Uh, if you want to take a look at this stream after it's done, I, I, at the very least, I'm doing uploads now on the YouTube channel, so you should be seeing a few more uploads more often. And hopefully we don't get sidetracked by the holidays, which, for God's sakes, it might happen. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Okay, again, the stream schedule, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Funny stuff has just came, come back, and apparently it's over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should mention, Happy Thanksgiving. Jeez, sorry. It's so difficult to get into the mindset of current events when I'm just, like, sitting here streaming. Right, yeah, Thanksgiving is happening, and hopefully uh, you guys have a good one. I have no idea if mine is going to be good. It's basically just getting together with family members and enjoying a nice uh, a, a nice prime rib roast kind of thing. So that that should be good. Uh, please, if you work in retail, I should give you, uh, like, a, a salute and a hope for the best. I, I hope Black Friday doesn't kick your ass into next year. Because, <clears throat> boy, I, I, I was actually talking to my buddy Andrew. You know him. He, he works at a retail outlet. And um, he wasn't lined up to actually work at a specific time during Black Friday. So he was actually really excited. Um... And then they turned around and they said, Yeah, sorry, we need you to be here on Black Friday. Queemus. Uh, yeah, okay. Let, let's just go with that. So, yeah, he's had his entire Thanksgiving plans and all that stuff ruined. That kind of sucks. But, hopefully, um, 
hopefully he'll live. <laughs> if not, I guess I'll let you guys know. I'm just happy that right now, at the as the current uh, status, I am not working anywhere retail. Good, very good. Uh oh, Fluffy says I don't have Thanksgiving. I hope you all do though. Basically, have a happy whatever time you know. On Thanksgiving, if you don't have Thanksgiving, I just hope you have a good day in general. That would be nice. Maple has posted another picture of the uh, the sleepy bear boy. -o. Adorable. Have a happy day. Very good, very good. Okay, all right. Eh, enough of that. I need to go and prepare myself some sort of a food of some description. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm going to scrounge around and put things together. All right. Again, thanks for coming out. See you next time.